For those of you guys who did not see the last Sims video, I need to show you how it ends because I'm about to, I have to get real strategic here, okay? This could very well be the end of the whole series. I don't want it to be, but let me just show you what happened at the end of the last episode for those of you guys who missed it. You know what? I'm gonna do a little highlight reel. Here we are in the previous episode. We married Judith Ward. We decide to move her in. And then the second I hit okay, she literally dies. She died, okay? She's dead, she's on the floor, she's dying right here. And you know what, that's fine because my sim got really rich. I don't know if you can see that in the bottom left corner down there, but I have $665,000. So I mean, I'm okay with the death, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. So right after that happened, I just coincidentally saved my game. I saved my game because I wanted to go look at some mansions as one does when they suddenly come across $700,000. Like if you go from having $100,000 to $700,000, you're gonna go look for some mansions. So I saved my game right after that, went and looked around at some mansions here. And then when I came back after looking at, look, see, this is Judith's old place. I'm like, should we move in here? I don't know, just making some decisions, looking around. So as soon as I come back to my game, after looking at the mansions, this happens. Jen McAllister is dying from laughter. My sim, died. My sim literally died. I died. And I don't know if you guys have ever played The Sims as just one character before. Like if you're playing as just one sim and you don't have family member and you members and you die, the game's over. The game's over. What someone in the chat right now says, what was even so funny, LMAO? And you know what, Nene, I have to agree with that question. What was so funny? Honestly, kind of played an old woman. We played her a little bit. We stole all her money and she died. So why, why the f am I so hysterical for? I'm laughing to death, to death. I paused my game real fast, you guys. Look, she's mid death right here and I quit the game. So that's where we left off. And I'm a little bit nervous about this because we know that as soon as I open up my game right now, my sim is about to die. So we need to figure something out and fast so like really fast we have maybe 30 seconds after we open the game until we die so we have to really figure out what the f to do here or else i think the series just has to be over someone in the chat says i think you can calm yourself down in the mirror and that's true you can definitely do that i don't know if you guys caught this but i literally noticed it right before let me turn my sense down cool. as you can tell i noticed that i'm hysterical and i clicked the mirror and went to click try to calm down <gasps> but i just i died before i even got the chance the stream is gonna be over in five minutes <laughs> We need to really figure this out, okay? I'm gonna open my game right now. Here, here's what I think our options are. We either have to load into the game and get right to the mirror to calm ourselves down, which honestly could be risky, or we have to load into the game and do like a mood lit changer, like buy a drug, buy a drug and change our mood. Someone in the chat is giving some amazing knowledge here. They said, one time I saved my game before my sim died from laughter and when I re-logged, my sim didn't laugh anymore. You're gonna be just fine, trust me, please. Okay, that is true. There is actually a chance that we could log back into the game and like it's just playing out differently you know what i'm saying by the way if we survive we're gonna be probably moving into a new mansion today so i'm very excited here we go i could throw up i could too all right guys we're we're loaded in i'm nervous okay already off the bat i actually think my girl's moodlets are are different because she's not feeling hysterical anymore so maybe we're okay she's very sad so i don't think she's gonna be dying of laughter she might not be dying of laughter this time around but you know what i do see over here feeling playful me after judith ward dies and i steal all her, all her money feeling playful i think she's good I think she's good. I think we actually loaded into the game and she has completely different moodlets and I don't think she's gonna die from hysterical laughter anymore. Let's just feed her. Cause she, honestly at this point, she could die from starvation. Let's just get some leftovers. Oh shit. <gasps> Stop, I'm pausing, I'm pausing because look at this. What is going on here? All of a sudden all of these turn 
fucking purple. They all turned purple. She's feeling so playful. She's got feeling playful because she's a goofball, which I didn't know that my sim was a goofball. She's playful because she got engaged, playful because she got married, playful because she has prestigious living and there's a cozy fire. Guys, okay, I think it's time to bust out the drugs. We've got happy potion, happy potion, but I think we need to get moodlet solver. Okay, but playful's not, okay. I need some help here from some Sims players in the chat. This is instantly removes all negative moodlets from your Sim, but is feeling playful a positive moodlet? And if so, would that remove the two sad moodlets, which then would just make her completely playful and then she would die. Like, I don't think that's gonna help us out. Okay, some people in my chat are saying make her go cry in bed. Cry in bed or look in the mirror. Those are really our two options. You guys think I should make her mourn over Judith. So let's do that because we can't look in the mirror. I'm just nervous that she's not even gonna make it up the stairs. I'm afraid she's gonna start walking up the stairs and then die. All right, here we go. I think I need to cancel this because I don't know if we have enough time to eat before she starts being hysterical here. Boosting. Why are these going up? They're all being boosted right now. Guys, I'm freaking out. Are you sure that crying it out isn't gonna get rid of- Oh my God, I thought that might happen. Stop, you guys. I was just about to say this. I was just about to say, are we sure that crying in bed isn't gonna get rid of them? Cause I'm pretty sure it does. And look, the down arrows are going down. It's actually making her sad mood. Let's go away. We're literally doing the opposite of what we want right now. <laughs> Guys, this is not working. I think I need to cancel this. Take a thoughtful or steamy shower. Those are emotion showers. Okay, let's do a thoughtful one. I feel like that'll make her be focused and maybe get rid of this playful emotion here. I'm honestly scared to eat because she has a negative emotion from being starving and she needs those right now. She needs those. Oh, look, she got another negative emotion, which is good. Okay, we've actually only got 15 minutes until the feeling playful goes away. I think we did it. I think we saved her. Let's watch TV to get our fun meter up, but we'll watch like, like romance or something so that she gets a different mood lit. Oh look, they all changed. We did it. We really did that. Oh my God, okay. I was really nervous about this. Thank God. All right, so like last time, I'm gonna move all these tombstones into my inventory because I wanna bring these with us when we move. Okay guys, I think it's time to finally move. You guys have been asking me to get out of this house for so long, but we did not have enough money until we stole Judith's for fortune. And now we have more than enough money to move into the giant mansion of our dreams. All right guys, I know y'all want me to look in the gallery for a mansion or whatever, but I decided I am not doing that because I do not have enough expansion packs. And instead I am going to be just moving into one of the mansions that's already in the game and we're gonna be editing it to our liking. So I think it's time to move. I'm, I'm a little sentimental right now because this is where it all started. And I, I feel like I did an amazing renovation on this house. If you guys remember, this is one of the houses that is included in the game. And I gave it this beautiful, beautiful renovation. And it's kind of amazing. I, I have very fond memories in this house and I'm really gonna miss it here. It really is the end of an era. I'm being all sentimental and someone in the chat says, no, leave. <laughs> Oh, what about Reaper? I didn't even I didn't even think about that. Re Grim Reaper has a, a key to my house here, but he's not gonna have a key to my new house. Leave a lemon on the porch. You know what? I think it's only right that we do that, Kira. So I'm gonna put one lemon right there on the porch. There's the lemon that started it all. It really did. This is how we built all of our relationships with this lemon. We always give it as a gift, but it's time to move on to bigger and better things, including a big giant mansion. Um, Let's move. It's time. I have decided that I really wanna move into this mansion. And here's why. Listen, I don't really like Judith's mansion that much, the ward den. It's definitely an expensive home over here, but I don't really like the layout. It's got two bedrooms, two baths, bathrooms, two offices. I don't like the vibe in there. This house on the other hand is definitely very interesting and it definitely, it definitely needs a lot of work, but I think it's a really great start. I love the location and it's more expensive than the Bailey Moon residency, which is my number one goal in life. After f***ing both Octavia and Thorn, the only thing I want now is to own a house that's more expensive than theirs, which is Chateau Peak. So we're going to move into Chateau Peak right now. Let's keep it furnished though, because I, I want to um, see how they, they have the layout and we can just replace things. This is so exciting. Oh my God, oh my God, my giant 
fucking, there's already paparazzi here. They already know where I live. Okay, guys, check out my new giant fucking mansion. So giant. Let me put all the walls up, roof up. Oh my God. First of all, I just, I just have to point out the fact that we have our own like street here. We really did make it. We've got this huge, huge area with two swimming pools out here. Huge backyard on top of the mountains overlooking literally overlooking Thorne and Octavia because we're above them. Almost $300,000 mansion and we still have $400,000 left over. So first things first, guys, I think we need to put the graveyard back here. Should we put it up here or where should we put it? This is Judith. <laughs> oh wait, we could do here. We could do right here and and, and tilt it. Actually, I, I think I'd rather do this side because I don't know if I wanna be swimming and like underwater in my really cool pool with glass walls and be able to see the tombstones. I think that might kill my vibe a little bit. So let's put it on this side. Yes! Judith Ward and all the pets. Oh, by the way, should we turn that perk back on or no? All we've got is celebrity home, which um, that makes paparazzi show up to our house. So this is what we had on last time. We had cat hangout and dog hangout, which is why so many pets came to my house all the time. Let's see what else we've got. If there's anything else fun. Quake Zone, wait, have any of you guys played with Quake Zone on? I play with that one on my laptop and literally the whole game starts shaking. I honestly, I think I'm gonna put that on. We are in LA, but you know what? To keep it, to keep it um, feeling familiar, I'm gonna also add dog hangout. And if Quake Zone gets too annoying, we're gonna switch it out for a cat hangout, okay? It's so funny when there's an earthquake. I really hope there's one soon. I think we should just go inside and check out the place. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of really like the minimalistic feel because it looks really rich. It's giving me wealthy. Like, look at this. We really, we earned this. And by earned this, I mean we slept with an old lady. Guys, look at this. This is, oh, this is nice. I hate that rug, but this is, oh, oh my God. This is nice. She's walking slow as hell. <gasps> look at my view. Oh my God. Oh my, look, oh. Oh my, actually gag me, look at this. I can see downtown LA from here. This is so nice. Save, oh yeah, good idea. Let's just do a quick save really quick. Just cause we survived dying once and I don't wanna have to do it again. If she wants to get to the roof, she has to fucking climb. She has to climb a ladder. Let's watch her climb this <laughs> She's fucking grunting. She's grunting. <laughs> All right, let's fucking swim around sadly. Now, the next thing we have to go take a little tour of before we go into build mode is the downstairs. And then we're gonna, we're gonna redo the house for the rest of this episode, I think. This is just so nice. Like, oh my God, the view. Now for the bottom floor. The, fir the actual first floor, even though you enter on the second floor. We've got whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like it. It's like a little luxurious. We've got a safe. Oh my, what is that shit in there? We've got a whole fossil in our safe. Close and lock. Let's close and lock it. That's a television remote. I'm sorry, but. Oh my God. All right, so we've got that. Then we've got this over here. Let's go check out this room, which I don't know what, we've got some alien pods in here. I feel like I've seen Justin Bieber go in one of these before. And we've got the bathroom in here. So let's go into the bathroom. This is definitely a luxury. Wow. All right, there's a whole fountain in here. Oh my God, okay. Two showers. Wait, three showers. There's so many bathrooms. There's a whole nother bathroom over here. And then we've got the bedroom over here, which <sighs> this definitely needs a major makeover. I'm not gonna lie. So we've got this. Honestly, so ugly in here. I don't really like the vibes. So let's make her sleep in this pod. Subliminal slumber. Like, huh? Lock inside of pod. Oh my God, you can lock someone else inside the pod? I wanna see her get in this pod. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's moving so fast. I was not expecting that. 
Look at that. What the fu- I was not expecting you to start floating like that. Finn is actually like, Jen, he's like, mom, where are we? Okay, it's time for the renovation, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, as much as some of the stuff is kind of ugly in here, I actually really like the overall layout of the house. Like, I like the minimalistic feel of it, and I know some of you might disagree with me in the chat, but that's okay. We can disagree. We can agree to disagree, because I like how minimal it is, but I just think the colors and some of the objects need to, like, change, but keep, like, the same vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, though. I'm kind of, like, I love our ladder, but it probably would look better with a staircase. It looks like a cult leader's house. Well, that's what I am, honestly, in this game, because whenever anyone sees me, they pop confetti poppers. All right, let's start on the kitchen, you guys. I kind of like the black and white vibe of the house but I want to add color like via decorations and stuff you know what I'm saying all right we have to change this fridge I do not like this fridge honestly we could probably get a better stove too I don't know should we do the really nice the most expensive fridge I mean we have so much money that's so nice Ooh! I don't know about this fridge though this one's kind of yeah let's do this one it really gives me rich like really rich energy let's delete these Okay, this is kind of fun, actually. I want people to know like that I'm extremely wealthy when they come into my house. Oh, a dishwasher, you're so right. Okay, let me go back to appliances. Maybe I'll put it over here. Kind of spice it up a little. Coffee maker, what the hell is this? All right, I'm gonna put that over there. I want some plants. There we go. This is for when we wanna cook naturally. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Let me get rid of these. But this is gonna stay for natural cooking. I really love this little plant. He's so cute. Ooh, so cute. Ooh. I want it to really look like jungly. Let's make this one really big. Yes. Just ignore me, I'm just adding some plants that I like and I'm gonna redo it after I make my final decision on which plants I like the best. What is this? Put that over there. Uh, okay, I was just kidding about that. I'm gonna delete that. Let me delete these because I was just kidding about this. We need a little dog bowl. I guess I'll just put it over here. I want him to be able to eat in the kitchen with us, you know? We need some stools. These ones are so cute, actually. You guys want red stools? I feel like we need more natural wood in here now. Like, I kind of like adding some natural wood. I'm not gonna put curtains because I kind of like that look, like that look of luxury in a really nice house where it's completely open. I've got the coffee machine we can put in here somewhere. I think that's good for right now. So this rug has to go in the dining room. It really, it really has to go. I like the, ooh, that's kind of fun. These ones are kind of nice. Let's change these chairs out. The queen's dining chair, anyone? The queen's dining chair? Um, no, I think we should do something with the natural wood to like tie everything in with the kitchen. All right, let's change this. Yes. Okay, back to chairs. I think this one looks the most expensive. And then the queen's chair. <laughs> this is where I sit when my guests come over. I'm gonna put it in gold. <laughs> the pink, the pink one. All right. Okay, and we have to change this rug. I'm just f***ing around about this. Ooh, there we go. This really ties the whole place together. All right. So you guys asked for color. Um, so we're gonna add a little bit of color. I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm so such a silly goofball. Oh a little a little bit of pink it Just gives us a little something something, you know, definitely we want to plant in the middle put pink flowers on the table That's a better idea. That could be really cute. Let's go over here into the bar. I feel like it should be white I also don't even like these chairs like we could really I mean we could do this Or we could even put it in black which would maybe be kind of fun I kind of want to put like a, a bougie plant back here. Ooh, that's kind of nice. A little pink would be nice. That is definitely rich. I mean, wow. I feel like this should just be in the center of the house. Like, you know, when you're so rich, you just have a tree growing in the middle of your house. Maybe put a bench around the tree, like a mini lounge. Oh my God, that's kind of so, such a cool idea. There's just a park in the middle of the house. Why is this kind of a, like a surf? This is, this is giving mall vibes. There's someone in the chat who really dislikes 
um, the carpet. So, and someone else who wants the green carpet instead. They said the green carpet would look good. So I'm just gonna test it out. Honestly, that does look kind of nice because I have all these plants in here. So it really ties the whole place together. All right, let's move over to the living room, which guys, I think is gonna be the last part of my video. Uh, we're gonna pick up with designing the house in the next episode because I'm getting hungry. Honestly, hate. Like actually hate this sofa. I think we're gonna go for a sectional vibe. Oh yes, we can do a little bit of, a little bit of that. We can do a little bit of this over here even. Ooh, we could even do little chairs like this. This rug needs to go. We could do more green. The rugs do not match. You don't match. Let's see, I think we need a bigger carpet actually. We could do like this. I feel like we could actually pull this in a little bit. There's this one. I think we should put a lamp. We need something like bougie because this looks nice, but it's not giving me, it's not giving me rich, like as much rich as the rest of the house is. Just, just this, just this. <laughs> oh, cocktail lamp? I mean, pfft. Whoa. Oh, this is giving me rich. This is giving me rich. That's giving me rich. We definitely need some color in here though. So let's go back to, let's get some plants in here. Where are the big rich plants? Here we go. A little bit of this. Oh, that's, oh, that's giving expensive. That's really giving expensive. Single twig equals rich, definitely. Cause I don't know if you guys have ever like seen one of these on like West Elm or, or CB2 or something, but these twigs sell for literally like $200. I wish I was making that up. I really think I like it like this. All right guys, listen, I'm gonna have to cut the stream here, even though I'm not quite done with the living room because I'm getting into a lot of footage right now. And I'm really hungry. I think we have a good start though, but we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna pause until next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little renovation. I'm very excited to finish the rest of the mansion. I think it's coming together pretty well so far. At the end, we're gonna do a little before and after and see how it really came together. But so far, I think it looks good. I love you guys very much and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.